Hi and welcome to my tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be detecting and exploiting improper session management um, with the intent to hijack a session so we can access other user information or execute actions beyond a privilege level. Uh, so I have Kali Linux here and in another VM I have uh, the broken web apps and we'll be taking a look at WebGoat. Start WebGoat here. We'll go to session management flaws, hijack a session, and we'll be using Burp Sequencer. And what we want to do first is find a response that uh, sets the session cookie. Uh, usually, a response um, after a successful login, um, and it has the set cookie header. So let's just go ahead and submit this login. Let's take a look at our Burp Sequencer here. Go to our history. Um, no, not this one, this one. Take a look at our response. And here we can see the set cookie. So now we're going to want to send this to Sequencer. And what Sequencer does is uh, it's a statistical analysis tool that lets us collect large amounts of data, um, such as session IDs, and we can perform calculations to figure out if these session IDs are being uh, randomly generated, uh, obfuscated, or encoded. Uh, this gives us an idea of how the cookies are being generated and um, allows us to come up with an attack. So now let's go to sequencer. Oh, I don't know if I sent that. Sequencer. There we are. So now we're going to want to use cookie weak ID and at first glance it looks like this weak ID cookie uh, is made up of two parts um, first part being the ID and second part being the timestamp you know perhaps uh, expiration date so let's go ahead and start the live capture and what this is doing is it's just uh, making a whole bunch of requests to the server to capture as many different cookie values as possible. I'll go ahead and pause this while it finishes. So now the live capture is done. If we look at the results here, we can look at the entropy. And what that is, it's a measurement of the level of randomness uh, of piece of information. And the results right here are uh, zero, um, which shows us that this uh, weak ID session is totally predictable and not a good option as a session ID. If we look at character level analysis, um, we can see the variance on the different characters. Um, they're all pretty much the same except for 3, 4, 17, and 18. So those are the ones that we're going to be interested in. So let's go ahead and save these tokens. So now we go ahead and take a look at our result. Oops. And these are all the sessions that uh, our live capture captured for us. So what we're trying to do is look for a gap in these values. Um, and that is probably going to be um, where session was set for someone else. So looking at the last two values here 24, 23, trying to find a gap nothing here uh, here we possibly found one let's go ahead and copy that well, now we'll go back to our proxy here, look for requests. Let's send that to um, Intruder. And I don't see that cookie in there, so let's go. Let's refresh that.
go back here. Some time intruder. And there's our weak ID, so let's clear these variables. Paste the one we copied in there. And remember the analysis, the variance was in third, fourth position and 17th and 18th. And where we found the gap was right here, 46. So we're gonna try 47. So 47, and then last two was um, 09 through 12. So let's go ahead and enter oops, a variable there. So no gun. Wow. All right. Oh my. All right, there. I finally got the last two digits set as a variable. So now we want to go to go to uh, payloads and change uh, the payload type to numbers. And then we want to step through one. I think it was 09 to 12. Is where we finally get 09 to 12. So number lock 12. And let's just go ahead and start that attack. And what we want to do here is just look for a difference in the length. Because uh, they should all be relatively the same unless one of the sessions were authenticated. One of the requests, rather. So let's go ahead and open that. If we look at the response. And just because I know what um, to expect here, we can search for the string. say you have been logged in and so we can see this one right here congratulations you've successfully completed this lesson um, and if we go back to hijack the session we can see thanks for watching feel free to leave comments if you have any questions